work of the Wasson Center, the mural offsets the negative image of Idaho as a place of intolerance and hatred and instead promotes respect for human dignity and diversity. Which is quite the transformation considering the space, the 8th Street Tunnel along the Boise Green Belt was once space used to spread anti-Semitism. The artist Addie Boswell took it upon herself along with more than 50 local volunteers to create something that is the opposite of hate. She called the mural E Pluribus Unum, same as our U.S. motto, out of many, one. And the mural includes many images of what makes Boise unique and why that diversity should be celebrated. We have uh, transgender pride, climate justice, the symbol on the woman's um, shirt is uh, a symbol that some survivors of abuse take on. And I think a lot of these people in these groups are in the minority and we don't see them as much. So I think this was a, um, an, an, a way to show them that, you know, we see you even though, you know, you're not seen all the time. It's a pretty good place to be seen, a pretty popular spot. In case you're not familiar with why this tunnel took on the intent and necessity it did, we were able to spend some time with artist Addie Boswell while she was putting it together last October. The train. Addie is a muralist from Portland, Oregon. I'm happiest when I'm covered in paint and out in the community painting a wall somewhere. Painting this wall, this tunnel under an old railroad bridge, is a response to a recent incident of racist graffiti, meant to be a message of hate considering its location, leading to Boise's Anne Frank Human Rights Memorial. Covering that canvas of contempt is what Addie was asked to do. There's a line in Rent, the musical, that the answer to war isn't peace, it's creation, and I've always loved that line. I think, you know, that's the best thing you can do. Aided by her daughter's hula hoop, I think I'm going to have to get her a new one, too, because I got it all painty. Addie says the idea is centered on a series of circles. It does help with the circles. Filled with what it's like to be a Boisean. Come help us if you want. I'll give you a paintbrush. What it's like to step in another person's shoes to see from another point of view. Inclusivity was the big thing because it was in answer to this graffiti that was, that was anti-Semitic. This was all about inclusion. The entire mural, top to bottom, is grounded in the chestnut tree symbolic of Anne Frank's connection to the outside world while she hid from Nazis in an attic. In all the overlapping um, circles, we've got all these symbols that represent different cultural groups and different things people are proud of, so symbols and flags. And it's all kind of, you know, mixed, mixed together in a mosaic because we're all connected whether we want to be or not, so. All squeezed into about a thousand square feet. Oh, it's never enough space, but I, I jammed, I jammed as much as I could in there. And she did it with the help of dozens of actual Boiseans. I mean, every time I walk by, I'm, I'll smile at it. I think we've had maybe 60 or 70 all together helping out. It's been really cool. Well, if you find yourself in the 8th Street Tunnel, stop and take a second to kind of look around. Maybe you'll find something there that relates to you, or maybe you might learn something about one of your neighbors.